Hi, I'm E with easygoingeggs.com and I wanted to do a quick video on my favorite shampoo and conditioner. So this is the shampoo that I use. It's called Aro Mary Shampoo Bar and this is the conditioner that I use. It is called Aro Mary Pre Shampoo Conditioner. So I really like both of these products because they have really wholesome ingredients. Um, I will list the ingredients in a moment, but this is what the bar looks like. Ah. This is what the bar looks like. It's a pretty good sized bar. It's uh, actually a lot bigger than other bars that I have tried. And it comes in this wax paper, so you can keep it dry so it doesn't disintegrate as quickly in the shower. You wanna wrap it in this and then put it in the box or take it out of your shower and not leave it in the shower. Um, this is, I'll put a little bit in my hand so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of like an oil. Let's see here, there we go. I don't want to use a whole lot, but it's basically like an oil that you put, it actually kind of feels good on my hands too, <laughs> but basically it's an oil that you will put on your hair. Some people focus just on the scalp. I really like to put it all over because I have color treated hair and I have really dry ends. So I'll put it all over my scalp and the ends of my hair. Um, I really like these shampoo bars and conditioners because they are very natural. I find that other shampoo bars, even though they're environmentally friendly with not having a bottle, some of the ingredients are still kind of questionable. So this one, I'll just read the ingredients for you. It is coconut oil, sunflower oil, purified water, alkali, castor oil, sesame oil, holy basil compound, vitamin E, neem oil, cactus oil, neem leaf, Indian filbert soap nut, Acacia consina, henna, alma, Indian gooseberry, and fenugreek. And then that's the shampoo. And then this one, the conditioner has sesame oil, coconut oil, nut grass, alma, which is Indian gooseberry apparently, uh, brahmi, eclipta alba, holy basil, neem, hibiscus, Bengal quince, castor bean leaf, and wheat germ oil. Um, so it's pretty basic if you have sensitive skin, if you are just trying to eliminate unnecessary chemicals and things like that from your products, these are really good, just wholesome ingredients. It's kind of surprising actually that you can combine all of those like random ingredients and get shampoo and conditioner. Um, the consistency is a little different if you're not using, if you're not used to using a shampoo bar, um, it will take a little bit of getting used to, but I don't mind it. I'm so used to it now. I've been using this one for three years and so it doesn't it doesn't feel odd to me anymore, but you might have to get used to it. Um, it's, you can just kind of go like this all over your hair. I find that that's the easiest to get it really lathered and it does lather really easily. Actually, this one lathers the best out of any other soap bar, shampoo bar that I've tried. Another thing that you can do is just kind of rub it between your hands and then put that in your hair. But I think that's harder, especially for me. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it and it's longer. So it's hard for me to get all of my hair covered if I don't just take the bar to my head. Um, and then this, you actually wanna put this on first. So about 10 or 15 minutes before you're going to be shampooing, uh, either do it before you get in the shower or you can do it in the shower just as long as your hair is not wet yet. So keep your hair dry, put it in your hands, put it all throughout your hair. You can use a comb. I have a wide tooth comb that I'll use to evenly distribute it throughout my hair. And um, you just let it sit. You can put it up in a bun or a shower cap or whatever's easier. Uh, and then after about 10 or 15 minutes, you just rinse it out. Make sure that your hair is nice and saturated and wet. And then you shampoo it out. And it does come out easily. It doesn't leave like a greasy residue on your hair or anything like that. It just really adds a lot of nice moisture to your hair. Um, I find that this also works really good as like a deep conditioner. You can leave this on overnight and put like a shower cap on or a scarf or something so that it protects your pillow and then shampoo it out in the morning. And again, it doesn't leave your hair like super greasy. I've done other deep conditioning treatments with like natural oils like coconut oil and olive oil and it's really, really hard to get out. Um, it's still beneficial. I, I still find that my hair is really soft after I do that, but you have to be prepared to spend like three or four days in a row wearing like a ponytail or a bun until you can really get your hair washed out, get the oil washed out. And then after that, it's great. <laughs> but this one, I don't, you don't have to go through that like waiting until it's all out of your hair. This one, 
you shampoo it once and it's fully absorbed. It doesn't leave like a greasy residue on your hair. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, the scent. The scent isn't bad. It's a little strong. If you're not used to using natural products, you're probably used to kind of like an artificial florally type smell uh, from like conventional or like drugstore products. So you're not going to get that with this. It is going to have sort of an earthy, spicy smell. I don't mind it. I actually think it's kind of nice. Um, but if you are sensitive to smells or if you're just picky with smells, you it might not be your favorite. So that's one drawback. But to me, the trade-off of having like no chemicals and having really good wholesome ingredients, uh, that's worth it to me to not have something that smells like a rose, you know, or whatever, an, an, another flower, like an artificial, like perfumey smell. Um, and then also too, like you're not adding waxes and oils to your hair to coat it, to give it the illusion of feeling softer. When you use products like this, it is actually nourishing your hair. So it's providing actual moisture. Kind of like a lot of people know how like with petroleum jelly, for example, you might put that on your lips or put it on your hands and then it kind of feels like it's soft, but it's not really adding moisture to your hair or, or to your skin. It's just coating it with a layer of like a greasy substance. That's kind of the same with a lot of hair products. It's not really moisturizing your hair from the inside out. It is just coating it with buildup. With this, that is not the case. You're actually adding ingredients that your hair is absorbing. And uh, both of these products have neem, which is actually really good for moisturizing your hair and your skin. It's good for people with skin conditions like psoriasis, um, people who suffer from dandruff. It's really nourishing, even like dog shampoos. They'll put it in like dog shampoos for uh, dogs that suffer from like hot spots and really dry skin. So it's just a really nourishing ingredient that's really good for your hair. Um, one thing that I will say that you have to be prepared for is a transition phase, especially if you have always used drugstore products, you're probably going to have a lot of buildup in your hair from just years and years of using leave-in conditioners and sprays and gels and, you know, regular conditioners and so forth. So when I first started using this three years ago, it did last me quite a while. I always thought that I had really clean hair. I shampooed it and washed it and conditioned it regularly, but I was shocked that it took me so long to get out the buildup that was in my hair. I thought that, oh, maybe kind of like when you use a clarifying shampoo that it would just come out in a few washes, but it was probably a good two weeks. And from what I've seen other reviewers, other YouTubers, that that's about average is a couple of weeks of a transition phase where you are consistently, you kind of have like a sticky feel on your hair. It's not the shampoo, so don't be turned off by that. Try to just bear through it because it will eventually get better. But what that is, is years of buildup that's coming off of your hair. Uh, one time I actually had a really dense bristled, like a boar bristle hairbrush, and I was combing through my hair and I actually could see it scraping off layers of like wax. Like I would have thought that I had like dirty wax in my hair that I was scraping it off, but that's, like I said, years and years of using those products that this was actually getting out. Um, so once you're beyond that transition phase, it's really similar to using any other shampoo. I don't have any negative effects at all. In fact, my hair, I find it to be more voluminous. It just kind of lays right, right out of the shower. It dries quickly because it's not so saturated with oils and waxes. Um, my hair is fine and really thin and really straight naturally. So I always found when I use other products that it just was very flat, even sometimes within the same day. If I like sweat just a little bit, my hair was totally flat and greasy and stringy and that's why I felt like I needed to wash it every single day because, because of the products that I was using that were weighing it down. So with this, it really cleans your hair without over drying it and it helps it feel a lot airier. I will say that you do need to use a conditioner, even though it cleans without over drying it, it does clean it really, really well. So if you don't use a conditioner, either this or some other type of natural conditioner with it, you are going to get that like kind of squeaky clean feeling, which will sort of make your hair feel drier than it is. So be careful with that. Definitely use it with the conditioner so that you're still providing moisture to your hair and not um, just drying it out constantly. But um, yeah, I hope this answers any questions. Uh, hopefully some of you guys are able to try this. I don't think that you'll be disappointed. I'll put a link below for where you can purchase it and um, the pricing and all of that good stuff. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. I will put a more thorough review on my blog as well. 
So feel free to check that out. It's on easygoingeggs.com. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, give me a thumbs up on this video. I would really appreciate any support that you guys can offer. Um, but thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.